Still, <coughs> something like a laugh. <coughs> It's like the Adams family, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what was that? that? Was the electrocutioner shocker thing, wasn't it? If you go to like a seaside event, there'd be like an Adams family. Oh, you hold it, yeah. yeah. And it would be it play the soundtrack going da 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 da. <laughs> and I always think, can I do that? Because I was thinking, why are they killing people? Welcome to another episode of reacting to scary cartoon animation horror stories. I'll tell you what's a horror. Go on. Not being able to fit a sofa up the stairs. <laughs> if you want more context guys check my channel soon <laughs> oh, let's just God. give you a video clip of it oh yeah it put out. a clip here <laughs> <laughs> i reckon you could slide hang on <laughs> jesus <laughs> all right four run <laughs> come on buzz make the shot <laughs> Oh no! Ah! Oh. Today, guys, we are reacting though to two new stories. One has coming in from Lama Arts, and one is coming in from Wanzi Entertainment. Cracking, is it? Wanzi man, he's done Why? good stuff. Stop Why do we always it. do yeah. that? Just, these aren't even my hand. What are these? Get down! Right at the Ryan. Stop ah, it! Yeah, yeah. Idiot! Six thousand likes will show whether the Ryan. Story one. Let's go. I put. Even hang up. on a minute. Let's pause. Why are the subtitles on with no closed captions? What's going on here, guys? Hey, yeah. You interview. This, this is a horror. Try it again. There's no captions. That is the horror. Auto-generated. And oh we get dear. nothing. Oh no. Guys, have a keen ear. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, listen, I was gonna say. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. <laughs> Here we go, guys! <laughs> what are you laughing for? Always Sorry. A daunting task. What's that in the back? Even though you interview, watching TV, you I think. time to get to know that person. Interview? You don't truly find out who they okay. are until you start living with them. I true. guess that's kind of true. I began searching yeah. for a roommate after I decided to leave my current residency. You can see into the residency. house. I was gonna say, this dude, get some curtains, man. A couple of hours after placing an ad on the Facebook Marketplace, okay. the message read. Hey, okay. Chris. I'll be moving out of my current apartment this August, and I'm looking to room with someone new, as my roommates are moving to California this year. I'm 27, and I'm currently going to school. When I'm okay. not at school, I enjoy hiking and watching movies. I also apprentice at a taxidermy shop on the days I don't have class. Oh my god. Wow. Well, it's not weird. It's always been a fun hobby of mine. Oh, anyway, taxidermy. I'm looking forward to hearing back from you. Have a great day, Lunaire. Can okay, we stop a second? She's gonna, most, well, she's gonna stuff him. If he's looking for a roommate, why is she talking about her hobbies? This is like a dating website I think, now. I think it's What's because to get to know her, like, uh, yeah, if their hobbies kind of clash, maybe. Okay. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Just watch the video some more and find out. Yeah, let's do it. The obvious reaction after reading the message was to oh, check the profile. She was a medium height, had long, messy blonde hair and green eyes. In okay. her profile picture, I saw her standing with a man and a woman shoulder to shoulder. Oh, what about his taxidermy people calling it? Oh, damn, yeah. and held up peace signs. Under the photo, the caption read, Love my, Love my roommates. roommates. Oh, yeah. She oh, was no. Herself and decided to send her a message back. She is Mrs. Lecter, yeah. isn't she? Down. Definitely. Oh, no. And the, my, like my internet beamed down, I think, oh, and no. just stopped. Oh, no. Has my internet actually dropped? My, I've got no internet. <laughs> no! Decided to it's been four days, back. guys. We're back. We're back. The sun She's looking now. What the heck? We hoisted various objects hoisted. to the second floor of our new apartment. It took us a couple days to get everything out of the moving trucks and oh. into our new place. Why is it heavy, Baz, huh? Yeah, yeah, what are you doing, mate? Over our what? Whoa, whoa, hang on, let's take it back. Look how long that corridor is, man. That is a very long corridor. That is the, that is the corridor you see in those movies when people run and it yeah, gets further back, you know what I mean? It's the Mario staircase. I don't like this. Over our sweat drenched and sore bodies. Oh, that sounds hot, baby. After a couple more hours Especially with the this synthy music, what's going on? Yeah. A beer from the fridge it's Silent Hill the music. Duff, we reminisced Duff about old 90s cartoons and what video games we obsessed over as kids. And as the sun started to set, okay. <laughs> I truly felt relaxed and confident that things were going to work out. Sweet! Oh good a solution. Week later, I started a new job for a construction company that was owned by a good friend of mine. As I was getting ready, I heard the front door swing open uh -oh. and walked into the living room to see Lunaire and her friend David sliding in um, a large box. What you got there? Hey guys, what's I good? Asked. This is suspect, isn't it? Run, she replied. Yeah. None of your I business. I bought a freezer to store some of the animals I'm planning on using in my tax store. Oh, room. no. I hope that's all right. That was freezer. obvious. It's time to kick her out. Jesus. Time yeah. to show her that door and make her do the reverse of what she's doing right now. Yeah, because like, what, if, what if, like, he wants to get some milk from the fridge and he chooses the wrong one and he picks up, like, a raccoon? So that's that, drinking its leg. Like. drinking it from the, the ass. <laughs> 
purposely hesitant at first. All right, guys, there was no this is this is dodgy. This happening in the first place, but mm -hmm. I eventually accepted and returned to my room to continue getting ready for work. I don't think he accepts it. He just kind of home at around reply. 9 p.m. after having a couple of beers Ugh. with friends and noticed that the freezer was nestled snugly in the lower part of the pantry. Oh, that fits well. It does. Below I was going to say. Hum could be heard reverberating off of the inner Demons. wall. Demons. Demons. Demons are in there, guys. See what was inside. Oh gosh. Want to intrude on Lunaire's business? So I Smart, went into I my guess? room and changed into more comfortable clothing. After okay. changing, I came back out into the kitchen. <laughs> oh, there's blood on the floor. Sandwich. Oh, yeah, damn. I opened the fridge and grabbed Juice. what I needed. As I turned around, I stubbed my toe on the edge of the Ow. island countertop and oh. let out a long, exasperated grunt. Ooh. Through my frustration, oh. I slammed the fridge door shut and checked my toe to see if there was any bleeding. As I Good, raised I think. my head back up, was greeted by a shadow. Oh figure. boy. Oh god. And there was um, standing in the doorway leading hello. to the room. The darkness behind her almost seemed to envelop her. This isn't good. Is everything okay? She yeah, said, oh, so reverberated. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shit. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just slammed my toe into the corner of the countertop as I was making a sandwich. I hope I didn't wake you. Check the it's freezer. Fine. Oh, she's very she deadpan. Said, in the same deflated tone as before. Yeah, why? Why is she so deflated? What's she going on? She turned around and walked back into the darkness of her room. Dude, I could tell that she was pissed. So I, I don't think she was annoyed. Sandwich and retreated back to the my hell? room. A blueberry well. sandwich. Only Wait, blueberry and jam. I kind of want to try that, guys. Pe peanut butter, blueberry. Blue, what? blue, blue nut. Blue nut. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna drink some liquid that yeah, I got from that that off, freezer. So I was able oh, to damn. sleep in a little longer than usual. This is the Shaun of the Dead when scene. When I finally emerged from my room, that is the Shaun of the Dead that's scene. The dead, yeah. As I opened the refrigerator, I noticed that the light wasn't turning on. Everything sounds so alien in this place. Escaping from inside. Oh, damn. Um, it's like fate wants to check the freezer, dude. The light switch to confirm my suspicion. No power. Sure enough, the power was out. Again? Damn it! I muttered under my breath. I was uh, figuring out what to do. Nair's room and knocked on her door to tell her about the power outage if she didn't already know. Hang on a second. Look at here. Look how long his biceps are. <laughs> Holy crap. They're joining down here. Oh my oh God, God, man. He's got some kind of genetic mutation. He's got like on. calves in his hands, in his arms. <laughs> like, what the heck? No Sorry, guys. I then remembered that she had classes that day and probably wasn't home. On a Saturday, that's a I weird day for class. The kitchen and pass the pantry. Well, there's a lock on it now. As I did. I slipped on the floor, but was able to catch myself. Oh, he's really clumsy, isn't he? Yeah, dude. I angrily uh, uh, wait. As I looked down at the floor, Is she setting trying him up? to figure out what I had slipped on. Oh God. It blood, Ooh. and it started to leak from the corner of the freezer and pool onto the floor. Oh I my gosh. I quickly tried to open the freezer to find out the cause of the viscous liquid. It's locked. But then I noticed yep. that it had a padlock attached to it. No one coming through I that. I remember seeing that before. There's I a body in that. Car and Definitely. My toolbox from the back seat. Oh God, he's gonna lock I approached it. the freezer and set my. He's tools asking down for trouble, man. I'd call the police first, you know. I then yeah. pulled out a small pair of bolt cutters and snapped through the metal of the padlock. Oh, oh now it looks it so fell obvious. To the ground with a large thud. Oh, oh, in the blood. Creaked open the top of the freezer and was greeted with a putrid stench that permeated <laughs> my nostrils. My God. I quickly pinched my nose and I threw walked up away, him gagging. All over the skunk. God, what is it? I, guess I should have realized that was gonna happen. I muttered to myself in between uh -oh. gags. After gaining my composure, I grabbed some gloves from under the sink. And he literally looks like the dude who did it, you know? Yeah. I could see a couple of dead birds in plastic bags wedged into the corners of the Road freezer. Kill. Looks like I it, yeah. I each bag out and set them in the trash can nearby. Splat, That's when goodbye. I noticed that the blood was coming from the corner of the larger black bag. Oh, uh -oh. crap. Under needle? But I decided to open the top of the bag and peer inside. It's like a deer or something. By large, milky white eyes. Dear Lord. Swollen black tongue surrounded oh my by cracks and bloated lips, and the matted hair of a human head. This is your roommate, I bud. I swiftly dropped the bag and fell backwards onto the floor. My breathing had ceased to exist, and I grabbed the trash can like... next to me and expelled my disgust into it. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to expel <laughs> disgust. I'm going to expel my disgust. Why is he being so like poetry with <laughs> yeah. it? I'm going to exhale my worries and concerns oh and be better. God. It's like you're throwing up. Stop it. It's not glamorous at all. Out Got to door, poop out my mouth. Got into my car and called the police. Yeah, don't ever go back there, dude. Interrogation room with a blanket over my shoulders. I couldn't help but think about the face I'd seen. Who was it? So familiar. Why does his ear look like a peepee? -pee? That's when it finally hit. Yeah. Me. It's, it's gonna be his roommate. Her roommate. Old roommate. Picture. 
Oh, it's the Was girl with the brunette room. hair. Was it the what other dude too then? Was moving to California. Oh uh, yeah, the other guy helped when me the then. Oh no. The room, she started the questioning process, asking me if I started noticing any weird behavioral occurrences around the apartment. He better say yes. Yeah, I stubbed my toe the other day and she creepily stood in the doorway. It seemed like she was pissed, but for some reason I had a strange feeling like she was concerned about something. Hmm. That's when I connected the dots. Uh oh. She didn't oh, no. come out to the kitchen because she heard me stub my toe. She oh, she thought he was going in there. She thought I slammed the freezer instead of the fridge. Oh, okay. Uh, sweat started to fall oh, on my man. forehead as my surroundings became blurred. I could hear a low whine slowly starting to cover up. He's the lucky she didn't just take him out the then. How can you as get away with that? To clear, I could is see it? another officer into the room and whisper something I'm into her ear. Just so licking her ear. <laughs> Weirdo. Do you have Thanks, somewhere babe. you could stay at? She asked. I mean, I was planning on staying with my parents. They live about 30 minutes outside of town. That's something. Okay. She paused. And get the hell out. I don't want to worry you, but we found this picture inside of your apartment. Oh, uh, God. Uh, what is it? She slipped of a him. piece of paper across the table. And I immediately felt like someone kicked me in the chest. Cause someone kicked me in the, the chest. The head of Lunaire's other roommate sat on the chair. What? In the background, scrawled on the wall in blood, read, "Love my roommates." Oh, that's a cool shot. All of them. What the? Well, there we go, guys. That this was the I'm... best animation from them so far. Yeah, definitely. I think because it was like not a four-minute when you could really get into the story behind Does it. You this know, ever it was. To you? You find out about an awesome show. So anyway, guys, we're going to talk about something right now. She was probably then someone who was like a, a murderer, clearly, but her fixation was like, it's like every roommate she had, she wanted to make sure that they stayed together. Yeah. It's like keeping those happy memories. And that was like how she unfortunately uh, would see things, which is why they were all taken out. But why would she take out the other guy? Yeah. Right? Because she, that was another roommate, wasn't it? Wasn't it? Why was he helping her before, though? I don't know, maybe he didn't realize he was helping her out to carry a body out. What? Maybe. Crazy. And then he was like, oh, come in the room quickly. And maybe she like took him out there or something. All right, guys, this next one is the creepy pizza delivery guy. Oh, SCP Foundation My music. name is Chad. Don't hey, shout. Chad. And this story took place when I was about 12. Hey, 12. I was at home hey, with 12, my I'm mom Chad. since my dad was going to be out all night. Okay. Three of my best friends came to my house for a sleepover party. That's lit. We sat in my room playing PS3. PlayStation and watching no, TV. Nice, that's good. That's good. I like it. Soon, They're chilling together. Look at that. It was getting pretty dark outside. <laughs> so they turned Mom the lights on. Pizza for All right. Good so day. when the doorbell rang, we knew that the pizza had arrived. <laughs> when my mom was the door, my friends oh, and I were just right next to her. It was a Papa John's. We spat in his face. <laughs> Dude, he seems so like the pizza delivery guy face, seemed right? like he was in his mid fifties and looked Don't pretty judge. old. I see. While my mother was taking her money out, he looked at us. Oh no. And all of a sudden, a creepy grin oh. appeared on his face. Maybe he likes his being eyes nice were to people. Wide you know? open. He loves kids. That sounds it wrong. Kind of weird, like we just laughed it off as we didn't think much of it. Oh, uh, what's in the pizza store? My mom handed him the money. The pizza guy gave us the pizza and then Delicious. Left. We took That's the pizza the into Bro, my room. Look at, and look at dude Netflix three in the while pizza. We were eating it. Learn some manners. Two hours stand. passed. My mom came up to our room and said, it's time for you guys to go to bed. Thanks, mom. If you mom. need anything, just let me know. My friends brought sleeping bags from their home. Nice. So we all got ready to go to bed and lie down. <laughs> that looks cozy, that dude in the left. I turned yeah. the lights off and went into my bed. That's weird, isn't it? Why we would you talk to each Hang other? Hang on, he turned the lights off and got in his bed. Yeah, why would you do that? I reckon they've drunk the pizza. This is really weird so <laughs> far, guys. There's some weird things happening with these kids. We talked to each other for about 45 minutes until it was around <laughs> 11 <laughs> Had a clock on his arm. Close to midnight. Yeah. <laughs> and we eventually got tired of it. We closed I our eyes. I got bored and hate my friends. saying a word to one another. Later that night, I heard rustling coming from the backyard. Oh, he came it back. It sounded like someone was walking on a pile of leaves. He's come back. Well, he was, first, no, I, I thought it was a cat walking around looking for food as they usually do. Could yeah. be. That's reasonable, However, I would say. The next thing I heard was a loud thump. Oh no. He's in. It ah! sounded a lot closer and like it they was hitting right wall. Window? At that time, we already He's all got shot. up from our spot and heard it. We were so scared to look outside through the window and check what was going on. As I would be too, yeah, that's kind of weird. Then, oh no! I saw a hand, hand. In the window, lifting it Stop up. Stop it! Stop it! 
We all scream with fear, and the guy still right, tried Baz. to crawl in. <laughs> to be fair, that was a very scary moment. Like, can we just replay the audio of Baz's moment right there? <laughs> Let's see what happened next, guys. Crawl in. But one of my friends thought much faster. He locked the window, and we Smart all ran boy. out of my room. Oh my gosh. Then our house security alarm started going oh, off no. like crazy. My mom, who was sleeping in her bedroom, came out, turned it off, and asked what was going on. Explain, kids, we please. explained what just happened and looked at the cameras, which oh, were no. set up outside of our house. FNAF. Um, very. There was very a guy well quietly trying to come down a Where ladder. Where did he get the ladder from? I realized the thump on the wall we heard was a ladder. Ah. Mom oh, boy. quickly got out her phone and called the police. We locked all of the doors and came back to the monitor. They weren't to look locked at the before, cameras. though. Yeah, what's we going on? We saw the man opened our backyard oh, no. shed and hid in there. He's sleeping in there, guys. In just a few minutes. The police look at the house. Already arrived. Dang. Put the sirens on to let them know you're Three coming. officers yeah. went outside. Just, just, just so the guy knows. The they couldn't find him. I'm guessing. We gave information to the other officer. And we told Agent him that we saw the man oh. going into the shed out in our backyard. Check it. One of the oh, police was it. holding a gun, and Whoa. the other two were approaching closer to the shed. Oh, no. In the blink of an eye, they had entered the shed, found him in the ah! shed hiding, put him in no. handcuffs to arrest him. They wow. brought him out front and put him in the back of a police car. Uh -oh. And he made that them time, pizza. Lots of people heard the noise, came outside to see what was going on. That's and good. surprisingly, the cops found some things like a knife, hammer, oh, no. and other from his pocket. Uh, what, from the <laughs> you shed? had a loose window panel. He was actually just repairing it. Like, and he slipped on the ladder, and that's why his hand hit the window. <laughs> yeah. And he went in the shed because he was knackered. That's yeah. it. And he was going back to get some more tools. To, uh... he, exactly. And he yeah. was sat down in the corner because he accidentally locked himself in the shed. <laughs> yeah. The police kicked down the door. Thank goodness. Like, freeze! <laughs> Shoot <What>? you dead. <laughs> yeah. I'm glad he died. <laughs> it turns uh, out he was the nicest guy in the world. Yeah. Hammer and other from his pocket. So what happened next? As he was in the back seat of the car, did he smile? He looked at us and gave oh, us a gosh. creepy grin with wide oh, eyes. Why though? At first, why? I couldn't see his face clearly, but when I concentrated on focusing it more visibly, okay, I was shocked. Oh no! Uh -oh. It was the pizza delivery guy. Oh no! After that, the police handled the situation, so we could go That's back good. to sleep again that night. Nice. Oh no, does it I hit the window know again? What this guy would have done to yeah. us <laughs> if he had successfully got inside. The police officer. I know exactly what he would have done had if that guy got in successfully. He, he would have, they, he, yeah, he, he would have, have taught those kids how to make a good pizza. Yeah, and he would have, he would have fixed the heat in for them. Yep, yeah, that a burglar alarm went off when he wasn't even inside the house. So why that thing went off, there's clearly an underlying malfunction with it. Do you know what I mean? He's trying to help out. He's just trying to do good. Yeah. But this is what happens when you try and do good. You get arrested because you get locked in a shed by accident. Exactly. So the moral of the story is, go on, Baz, hit them with it. The moral of the story is, if you're going to help someone out, at least tell them that you're going to help them out instead of breaking into their house. That's good. And helping them help them out the house. Why is that? I don't know. Okay. All right. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Uh, Baz's going to take it away now, though. <laughs> no, don't say it. Go on. No, you say it. Go on. Exactly. See you later, guys.